Hello. So this is going to be a mixed cardio day. So you won't need any weights. All you need is your body. So this is great if you don't have any equipment, if you're out somewhere different. Um, if you want, you can have a yoga mat, but you essentially really don't need anything. So this is also great too if you've missed a couple days of working out and want to just kind of get your body back into the routine just to kind of wake up your body and get ready for the rest of the week. So let's go ahead and warm up. So we're going to kick legs through and you're twisting over the leg that you're kicking. So we're just going to get blood flow going. Okay, you're going to feel hamstring stretch and we're getting our cores awake, spines waking up too. So like I said, if you haven't done any moving, this is going to be great for you to just do to jump back into the routine of things. Or even if you want to just kind of get something done, you don't have anything, but you want to get a workout in, this is a great workout to do to keep your body moving because any movement counts, okay? So it doesn't even matter if you are lifting weights or not, as long as you're moving your body, telling your muscles that they need to stay there, then they'll stay there. They'll make an exception for sure. All right, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to reach down to the ground, touch your toes and then you're squatting and then standing up, not standing up, but poking your booty back up. Should be feeling that hamstring stretch in here. Feet out wide, squatting back down, okay? Do a frog squat. So just warming up those legs. Don't have to go fast. Just getting a nice stretch. Feeling that hamstring stretch. So if your hamstrings are very tight, this is definitely a good movement to do. Get those legs warmed up. Good. Keep breathing, just waking everything up. If you need to, you can shake from side to side in between. Get a nice little stretch. Hip shake and squat back down. Good. All right, we're gonna go ahead and roll up slowly. We're going to arm swing for a second. So this is something that I like to do when I'm warming up. I just kind of feel what feels tight. So arm circles, you can do your own little thing here. Stretch over to the side, stretch over. So definitely, like I said, something I like to do is just feel what my body needs. So usually these areas are very tight in people as well. Um, hips get super tight and then side abdominals get really tight. So just waking everything up. So we're going to keep reaching over, stretch, if you want to hold one side because it feels good, you can do that, and reach to the other side, nice, good. So again, we're going to swing and kick through, so we're going to do this two more times, warming up the body, good, hope your day's good for you today. So just remember in this workout, all is possible, so I have this great shirt. And I got it because of the saying, all is possible. So no matter what you're doing, no matter what's going on in your life, just know everything and all is possible. So you can definitely get anything you set your mind to done. Sometimes it requires more patience. Sometimes it requires maybe a little extra time, but just know that you can do it, okay? So it's gonna be nice, about 30 minute workout just with your body. And we're resting here. We're gonna go ahead and get those feet and we're stretching down and then squatting. Again, if you want to shake those hips in between, feel free. Find what feels good in that body. I preferably like shaking my hips because my hamstrings are very, very tight right now. Squatting, good. Breathe. It's gonna be light on the body today. Not super impactful on the joints but still gonna be working the muscles like you need them to. Surprisingly, these body weight days are, can be pretty intense, even though you're not lifting any weights, lifting that body weight can be pretty heavy. So no matter how heavy you are, or what weight you're working with, it's going to feel like you are working, even though you don't have those dumbbells, that extra resistance. Good, and you can rest. Again, let's arm swing it out. Usually chest are very tight, just because we're on our phones, you're on computers, so we're trying to open that up. And then we're going to, again, let's reach over. So hand on one side, reach it over to one side. If you want to hold it, you can hold it. If you want to keep switching, go for switching. Whichever feels good to you. Just know everybody's a little different and everybody needs whatever they need. So if it 
Feels good to hold it for a couple seconds on one side, go for it. Feels good to hold it on the other side, go for it. If you want to lean forward, feel free to. Do not feel boxed in into your movements, okay? All of our bodies are very different, and whatever feels good to you may not feel good to somebody else. Maybe the stretch, for example, the stretch. I love this stretch because I'm super tight on my sides. But you may be like, I'm not really tight, so I want to lean forward and get more of like a side stretch while I'm reaching. Get that back involved, lower back involved. You can definitely do that. So, like I said, don't feel boxed into your movements. Unless you're following a guide, then you can definitely follow that movement. But when you're working just with your body, feel free to just move it around. Okay, we're gonna go ahead, swing throughs one more time. Again, waking up that spine. That body should feel looser now. You shouldn't feel so tight just as when you started. So if you've got a little bit of blood flowing, probably not sweating too much, but just enough to have like, okay. All right, body, I've got some blood going there. So kicking through, good. And if you wanna keep those legs up higher, feel free. Good, good, good. And then we're gonna go ahead and reach down for those feet. And we're squatting again, shake those hips. If you've noticed, hamstrings are probably a little less tight here. That's great because we are doing our warm up correctly. So even if your warm up is like a mini workout, that is okay. You've got to tell your body that you are about to move, okay? And any workout, it's great for you to go ahead and get a little warm up in whether it be walking, a couple jumping jacks, very little stretches, dynamic stretches such as these where you're moving actively, not holding a stretch, but at least getting that body aware that you are about to do some movement. We don't want that muscle to be shocked into an exercise. And we're resting. Again, let's do a couple arm swings. Good. And then those reaches. And if you want here, you can go to where you don't have to support that arm on your hip. And you can just reach and reach. And you may notice you have more flexibility on one side and that is okay. Everybody is a little different. Usually we have one side of our body that compensates just because we favor that side. So that's okay. That's okay. It's just being aware of what side is stronger and which one is weaker. And try to fix a couple things in the day to kind of help even that out. So whether it be you hold groceries all in one hand, try to even it out. Even though that your grip strength may not be strong in one hand, that's okay. At least attempt to try to add maybe a bag or two to one other side. Or if you have a baby and you're picking up that baby on one side, just be mindful and try to switch it around every now and again. Things like that. Okay, shoulder rolling. Rolling those shoulders. All right, so we've got some heat in our body. Let's roll our neck side to side. So we're gonna go ahead and get moving. So warm up was about seven minutes or so. Good, nice neck rolls. Necks can be really tight, especially if you don't have really good pillows or you just hold a lot of tension in your neck. This is really good to go ahead and try to get your neck moving. So just dropping the chin down to the chest and moving to the other side. Great. And if you want to, you can roll it all the way around. Let's do that a couple times. Good, good, good. And then other side. Good, again, we're just finding what feels good here. So if this doesn't feel good to you, you don't have to do it. But if you're finding that you do have some tension in that neck, Go ahead and do this because this neck, your neck is a really strong muscle and you can rest. Um, and it has to support your head throughout the day. Also, when you're sleeping, if you're relaxing that neck onto your pillow and your pillow's not supporting you the way it needs to, it can get really tight. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna start in a high plank position. What we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and do plank taps, okay? So what we're doing is bringing our foot up to our hand, going back into a plank position, and then switching to the other side, okay? So the goal is, is that you keep that core really nice and tight the whole time as you do this movement. So we're gonna go ahead and do 
20 of these. You ready? And we're going. One, two, good. Four. If you need to modify this, you can just bring your knees up to your hands. Okay? If you're still going, keep going. Good. If you got 20, you can rest. Good. Go ahead and rest. So here what we're going to do is we're going to hover. We're going to do 30 seconds. So instead of doing counts, we're going to do 30 seconds of this. So we're going to hover. So knees are going to go under our hips. Toes are going to be out with our knees. So staying with us our knees. And then what we're going to be doing is lifting those knees off the ground, hovering. And then we're going to tap back down, come back up. Okay? If you don't feel comfortable tapping, just hover. So we're going to start in three, two, one, and we're hovering. Good. Tap and hover. Tap and hover. Keep that lower core really nice and tight here. You don't want your hips to be sagging in this movement. And just actively be pushing away from the earth as you do this. You don't want those, that weight to be in your shoulders. Good. Tap down. Good. Keep going. Lower core should be working here. It's not a big movement, but you're still working. Good. Keep going, you got it, nice strong core. And hover, tap, and hover, tap, and hover. Let's do this for three, and two, one more. Tap, and hover, good. Awesome. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and lay on our backs here. We're gonna go ahead and we're going to do um, the ups. So here you're gonna be at full extension. When you're doing your core, just make sure that your back is really nice and flat to the ground. So if you notice here, I'm sucking in that lower core. I don't have that arch in the back, okay? So pull in that pelvis, tuck it under you even though you're laying down. And what we're going to do, if you need to modify it, your feet don't have to go all the way down. If you have that core control, so if you're able to lower your legs without your back arching, go for it. And if you can't because you all of a sudden find that your back arches, for example, here, then you want to only stop right before that back arches, okay? So here what you're going to be doing is you're fully extending out here, full extension of the body, you're inhaling, and then you're going to exhale, come up, touch your toes, and then you're coming back down to that lawn position. So if you need to bend the knees, like I am having to do to keep my core nice and tight, you can definitely do that. Again, if you need to modify it, you can have a smaller range of motion. You're still going to be doing the same work. You're just modifying the movement, all right? So we're going to go ahead and do this 30 seconds, just as many as you can. Three, two, one, and V up. Good. Keep that core nice and tight. Breathe. Have control of those legs, too, as you do this movement. You don't want your legs to just be falling down to the ground, okay? You want to have control as you lower because you're getting more out of work as you do that. You don't want to be lazy towards that last half. Get it? Keep going. Nice. So if you notice we're doing a lot of core today, but that is okay. We need that core to be worked on. We're also working upper body and lower body, having to control our body weight and our planks. Also in this movement, Having to lift those legs up even though they feel heavy. And you can rest. Good. But that's great. So we're doing, like I said, full body, body resistance. So we're going to go ahead and turn back on our um, front side. We're going to do that plank heel tap. So we're reaching for that foot. Again, if you need to modify it, you can just bring the in a uh, plank position. So make sure your hips are under you. And then you're just tapping your knee. Just be mindful here. You want to make sure that you're lifting that leg with your lower core. So what I mean by that is that you're actively squeezing that lower core as you lift that knee towards the hand, okay? So again, no sagging of the hips and no rounding of the butt, no sticking your butt out either. You want to have everything in line. So pelvis under you, um, shoulders, elbows, and wrists in line with each other. And then you're actively pushing away, keeping that core nice and tight. So for all of you that are not modifying, let's go ahead and do this. Feet out wide, and we're tapping 30 seconds. Three, 
two, one, and tap that foot. Good. Remember, all the movement counts. So even if you're not able to do as many as somebody else in 30 seconds, that is okay. First time we did 20, but everybody goes at a different pace, so we're just doing time. So 30 seconds worth, keep going, good. Keep that core nice and tight. Good. Let's do it for five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Good job. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and go into our hovering taps. So wrist, elbows, shoulders in line with each other, knees, hip width apart, toes, you're lifting up onto your toes, and you're gonna be tapping down. And we're gonna start in three, two, one, hover, and tap, good. Hover, tap, lower core nice and tight. Body should already be getting some heat here, which is great. Good, control, control. You're not just plopping those knees down to the ground. You want to save those knees for whenever you really need them. For example, when you're walking. Good. Control. There you go. Nice sweat going. Good, good, good. Keep going. And no weights, which is great. You can do this anywhere, anytime. Good. And you can rest off of perfect. We're gonna turn onto our backs now. Hopefully you guys drank some water before this. If you haven't, I will give you about 30 seconds to get some water. So here we're gonna do V ups again. And remember, modified, you're not having to go as high or bring those legs down as low. If you are doing it regular, you can have those bent knees as you come down, tapping your feet to the ground, having control as you do this. Ready? And we're going 30 seconds. Three, two, one, and go. 30 seconds. You can do it. There you go. Inhale. Exhale as you come up. So here I am modifying it so my knees are bent. If you can fully elongate those legs, go for it. But I as well have to modify at this time to get my core working the way I need it to. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. Keep going. 30 seconds worth. Good. Core should be working now, which is great. You are working. You're getting a workout in. All body resistance. And one more. Rest. Good job. Breather. Let's go ahead and take a 30 second breath. If you need some water, go ahead and get some water. But we are on our last round. So we're doing three rounds of this one. So again, like I said, if that body is already warmed up, you already have blood flowing. If you want to get a couple stretches in here, you can. Go ahead and hop on those feet. We're just going to do a downward dog. And we're shifting those hips. So shifting the hips feels really good because you can not only get an inner thigh stretch, but you're also getting an outer thigh stretch too when you pop that hip out to one side. So you should be feeling it also on the outside as well as you do this. But if you're ready, it's been about let's see, 30 seconds. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and start in three, two, one. We got those plank heel taps, and we're going. Keep that core nice and tight. 30 seconds. You can do it. Good, good, good. Here, you want to make sure that you are, if you've already been watching me. You already know how to do the movement. So if you can, stay looking at the ground. You don't want to extend that head up towards whatever you're looking at to watch this workout. You hear me, and you know that by now, we are doing these plank taps. So keep that head down. Keep your core nice and strong. Just keep going till I say stop. Let's go. Keep going. And five, four, three, two, three. One, and rest. Awesome, good job. We go ahead and tap it out. And those hovers again. We're on our third set of this. So you should already know what we're doing. The neck is an extension of the back. So just be sure here that you're looking down. You know what's going on. No need to look for me, just listen for my voice. And we're going hover and tap. Hover, 
Fantastic. If you've just been hovering, just keep hovering. Good. And tap. Good job. Keep going. Core nice and tight. And tap. Very good. Keep going. Breathe. Have control of things. Inhale and exhale. Some things you can't control. But if you can't control, at least getting a workout in and controlling your body, that's a pretty good amount of control. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Tap. Inhale. Exhale. And you can rest. Good. So, shoulders are working there too. So, like I said, full body. Not even to have any, not having to have any weights. Turn the shoe real quick. And then we're going to do our last set of our V up. So, on your back, we're going to go ahead and get started in three, two, one, and V up. Good. Touch those toes. Core is working. Body's moving. It's a great day. Remember, all is possible. Even if you have to modify things, you are able to do it. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Keep going. Good job. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Good. There we go. Feel that core burning. Inhale. Exhale. So our last round here. For the abs. Three. Two, one, and rest. Awesome. Good job. All right. If you need water, go for it. If you don't have any water, that is okay. So we're going to go ahead and get some lower body going. We're going to go ahead and stretch out lower body. So again, remember hamstrings, I said earlier, are usually tight in people. We're going to do scoops. So heels going to be on the ground, toes going to be pointed up. And then from here, you're going to have your back foot pointed forward. And what you're doing is scooping your arms and then you're switching scoop good and then you switch scoop so the goal is is that you keep that leg straight and that heel stays down on the ground if you bend that leg that front leg you're not going to get the hamstring stretch and calf stretch like i'm looking for okay so you want to keep that leg pretty much almost locked out so that you can shift your hip back so hips are coming back and then you're scooping okay so we're going to do this actively, 30 seconds, scoop, just like you're scooping an ice cream scoop. You want to get a nice deep scoop so that you can feel your bowl or your top. And remember, keep that front leg straight. Hips are shifting back as you do this stretch. Good. Stretch, stretch, stretch. So like I said, this is going to be about 30 minutes. Just lower body and upper body. We've already done upper and core. We're going to get some of that lower body involved now. All right. We're going to rest. Active stretch. So legs are going to be out wide. We're going to do a side lunge here. Hold one, two. And then other side. Side lunge, one, two. So here, you want to keep both feet pointed forward. You don't want to have the toes pointed out, okay? Good. And then stretch. And you can support yourself on your legs. But again here, you want to be mindful. You don't want to have all that weight onto your legs, okay? You're already having to hold that body weight. So you're just having your hands on your body, essentially, is what you should be thinking. You shouldn't be like, oh my god, I'm tired, okay? You want to be able to keep your core nice and tight so alleviate some of that stress from that lower body. And then just have your hands there just for the movement. Good. Keep stretching. Probably got a nice inner thigh stretch here. Good. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do power squats. So we're jumping out to the side, tapping down, jumping up to the center. Out to the side, back to the center, okay? We're gonna do this 30 seconds. So we're going in three, two, one. Out to the side. If you can't do this, just do squats for 30 seconds. Good. And getting our heart rate going. No weights. Don't need no weights. Good. Also, it's a great way for you to get a workout in without making no excuse. Like, oh, I don't have a gym. I don't have anything. Or I don't even have workout clothes. You can do this in your pajamas and a sports bra. Just have a sports bra. I would recommend at least a sports bra if you are wearing a sports bra. If you don't have to wear sports bras because you're a man. 
That's great. <laughs> and we're resting. Good. So from here, we're going to go ahead and squat it out. Again, if you just got done with squats, you're just going to keep squatting. Good. Squats are never a bad thing. Get those legs nice and strong. We're squatting for 30 seconds, so we're just going to go into these movements. So no rest in between these guys. Good. Good. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Here you want to make sure you're shifting your hips back as you do this. Core stays nice and tight. You don't want that chest caving forward as you squat. So keep that chest really nice and proud. Remember, even though you may be tired, all is possible. Good, keep going. Three, two, let's do one more and rest. Awesome, perfect. All right, from here, we're gonna go ahead and do, we're gonna do calf raises. So we're just rocking onto the calves. Okay, if you haven't done calf raises in a while, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Just make sure that your ankles go straight forward. You don't want to have those ankles come out to the side. Okay. Calf raising, and we're going. 30 seconds, good. Slight rock back to the heel, and then coming onto the toes. Good. Calves already should be working because we worked with them during that power squat. So having to bounce, having to use those calves. And then just also squats in general require our calf muscles. So we've already got them both working here. Good. Feel that calf burn. Good job. All right. We're breathing. We're going for five, four. Good. Three, two, one. Good. All right. We're immediately going into those power squats again. So 30 seconds. And we're going and start. Again, if you had to do a squat during this movement, go ahead and do a squat. If you can power squat it, go for it. Again, stay light on the feet. You don't want to be pounding into the ground as you do this. I'm almost done with that full body. Good. Good job. There we go. Keep going. Keep that heart rate going. Stand strong and proud when you come up. Three, two, one, and squat. Feel those legs working. Yep, legs are working, which is great. Stay strong with those quads. You can keep those arms for pumping if you want. I'm doing it, I like the arm pump. It's keeping me distracted from those legs. But keep working, keep working. Good, you're doing great. Breathe. Don't hold your breath here. There's no pattern of breathing here when you're doing a lot of cardio exercises. Goals to set. Inhale and exhale. Just get that breath in. Create that energy. Good. And rest calf raises into the calves. Good. Great, keep going, keep moving. Body's working, no weights. Somebody tells you you can't get a workout on with weights. Push them off to the side. They don't know what they're talking about. Good, keep going. If you need to put those hands up at waist, you can. If you want to keep rocking them, look how you go for it. We've got one more round of those three exercises, and then we are done. Good, good, good. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Power squat. Good. Last 30. Keep moving. You can do it. We are almost done. I need last two minutes of your time. If somebody's bugging you, so just give me a minute. I'm finishing this for me, not for you. Almost done, keep going. Again, just breathe. Inhales and exhales. Make that energy. Standing proud each time. You can do it. You made it this far. And we're going into squats. You feeling the burn? Sometimes it gets hard under pressure. 
and that's how it should feel. It shouldn't feel easy. The more pressure you take, the more it changes you. The more you keep going, the more that you are able to do. Just keep pushing forward. Keep doing your movements. Keep doing whatever you're doing. And just wait to see the results that come. It's patience. It's a tough one, but it helps not only here as you're working out, but in life as well. Breathe, breathe, two, one, cat phrases. Work, inhales, exhales, slowing it down with calf raises. But again, be mindful of what you're doing throughout the day. Don't let little things bother you. Sometimes they can get really hard, but if you just keep moving forward, like, okay, I got one thing checked off. That's great. Keep moving. Nothing is going to get it in your way unless you let it get in your way. But remember, everything you have your mind says to, all is possible, good. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go ahead and take a break. Breathe, inhale through the nose deep, exhale. Inhale through the nose deep, exhale big. Breathing controls your heart rate. So if you ever find yourself with your heart pumping really fast for no good reason or your mind all of a sudden has all these jumble thoughts breathe in breathe out in big out big inhale all the stress exhale let it go because it will be all right reach down for those toes we're stretching those hands let's go ahead and shake those hips slowly side to side good Get that nice outer hip stretch and also hamstring stretch. There you go, good job. Here, we're gonna go ahead, feels weird. You're gonna put your feet or your fingers under your shoes and then you're gonna pull away. So just as if the cat gets scared and they round their back, feet or, I'm sorry, fingers under the shoes and then cool in the upper back. So, meow, get the cat pose. So you should be feeling back stretching here. Good, keep that chin tucked to your chest. Oh, yeah, you got a workout in. You did it. Good job. Now we're rolling up slowly, slow, 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 slow. Good. And then we're going to cross arm. Hands is going to be pointed up. Fingers are up to the sky. Chest is really nice and proud. Good. You did it. You did it. That's so exciting. Oh, my gosh. Hopefully those endorphins are really up and high today so that you can get whatever you wanted to get done today, done. If you can't get everything off of your checklist done, that's okay. Tomorrow's always another day, and you can still do everything that you wanna do no matter what comes in front of you. And we're switching, good. Nice stretch. Breathe, breathe out, good job. Inhale, and exhale. Good, good, good. Got that whole body working, let's see. About 30 minutes, nice. So you did it, you did a nice workout today. Proud of you, proud of you for taking this 30 minutes out of your day to get a full body movement in with just your body and creating a nice sweat, releasing all those toxins and starting the day or ending the day off, great. Last stretch here, we're gonna clasp our hands behind our back and then you're gonna push down to the ground, open that chest, pull those shoulders back and have that chest shine up to the sky, good. Breathe in, breathe out. Good, good, good. Inhales and exhale. Whew. Great job. So if you haven't gotten any water today during this workout, go ahead and get some water. Make sure you're drinking your water throughout the day. And then if you are doing this at night time, make sure you get enough water in so that you're not dehydrated in the night and wake up hungry. Um, if you have not eaten breakfast or, yeah, if you have not eaten breakfast, Go ahead and get some breakfast in. If it's dinner time for you, go ahead and at least get a little snack in. So whether it be like a banana, or if you haven't done a protein shake today, get a protein shake in so that you can supplement what you just burned off. Breathe in, breathe out, all is possible, and I'm proud of you.